Good morning crew, it's Tuesday and we're gonna hit you with your wad for the day. So today is going to start off with a 10 minute AMRAP. It's gonna be for quality, so don't speed through it. We're gonna start off with some weighted squats. Now these squats are just gonna allow you to have a counterbalance that's gonna allow you to sit down at the bottom of the squat. I want you to do a two second pause in the bottom and it's gonna be for 10 reps. So obviously some of you guys might not have a plate, so just grab an object This is going to allow you to keep your torso really upright. So you're going to hold the object out front, we're going to sit down into the bottom of the squat, we're going to hang out for one, two, and then we're going to stand back up. Again, sit back down, one, two, stand back up, you go ahead and do 10 reps there. We're then going to go into 10 sit-ups. <clears throat> Try to not use an ab mat for this one. We're going to sit with our arms across our chest, Sitting back and sitting up. Again, trying to avoid any momentum. Nice and smooth for today's warm up. And then we're going to go into 10 push up to down dog. So you start off in a push up position. And then once I lock out, I'm going to drop. So I push the hips to the sky, heels down, head through my arms, rock myself forward, hit a push up into down dog. And so, if you want to hold the position to get a particular stretch, that's totally cool. So again, 10 minute AMRAP, 10 squats, 10 sit ups, 10 push ups to down dog. So then we're going to go into our strength. Our strength is going to require you to have two separate sets of weights. And if you're not uh, privy to having um, a pair of dumbbells and a lighter pair of dumbbells, you can just grab something that's heavy and then something that's lighter. And if you can't find anything that is different weight, you can just um, do doubling amount of reps in one set, which we'll talk about in a second. So you're going to go into some serious high volume four presses. So it's going to be five sets of 10 reps of your heavy weight, immediately into 20 reps of your light weight. So we've done four presses a handful of times here, but we'll go over the movement standard. So I'm going to lay down on my back, I'm going to press the bells up overhead, and I'm going to not have my feet up like so, because the whole point of a core press is to avoid the lower body press. So, legs are extended, I'm going to lower the bells down, controlled and smooth. Notice how my elbows are not completely flared out like that, and they're also not super tucked in, so they're at a 45 degree angle. I'm going to bring them back up and press together and squeeze at the top. Make sure not to touch the dumbbells like so. So I'm going to go into 10 reps with my heavy belts. Then I'm going to ditch those belts and immediately grab my lighter belts. And I'm going to go into 20 reps here. Now you're going to get a wicked burn. And if your dumbbells are really light, you might not have actually even feel it on your first set. But don't worry, cumulatively it is 150 reps, so you will feel it no matter what. So again, five sets. 20 with your heavy, oh sorry, 10 with your heavy, 20 with your light. You're gonna rest two to three minutes in between your sets. So that's gonna take you a good amount of time. You're gonna need that rest though, because it's high point. So there is our strength. Once you finish with that, you're gonna go into your Metcon. So for your Metcon, you're gonna need a dumbbell and a skipping rope. So this one's gonna be a 20 minute AMRAP. It's gonna start off with eight V-ups. So a V-up, Hollow body position. I'm trying to find this nice concave position where the only part of my body that's touching is the floor, ideally keeping the legs straight. If you have a hard time keeping your legs straight, you can bend them up and do a V tuck. So I'm going to close this angle and meet my toes and my hands in the middle at the top. Like so. So we're going into eight reps there. I'm then going to go into 10 dumbbell hang power cleaning jerks. This is going to be done with one dumbbell. So I'm going to have, to have the bell on the inside of my leg like I would for a kettlebell. I'm going to hinge, open the hip, catch in a power position, and then from here you have the opportunity to just push press it up or push jerk it up if you have a heavier bell. So again, again that looks like this. For those of you that want to speed through these reps, you can drop the bell straight down into the hinge position and then catch like this. <clears throat> That's going to speed you up. 
Do five reps on the right, five reps on the left. You're gonna grab your skipping rope, we're gonna go into 50 double unders. So remember, point of performance for double unders is elbows are tucked in, arms or shoulders are relaxed, you have your hands out at a 45 degree angle, torso is tall, avoid doing that and doing that. So, 20 minute AMRAP, 8 V ups, 10 dumbbell hang power clean and jerks, 5 on each side, and 50 double unders. If you don't have a rope, or maybe you can't do skips, you're just gonna do 50 jumping jacks. Like so. Whew. Then we have our finisher. We did this one last week. The reason why we're bringing it back is because I got a lot of complaints, and the complaints were holy shit, my abs are on fire. So, we're hitting it again. It's gonna be 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 of hollow rocks and arch rocks. So, hollow body position stems from that, uh, that view that we just talked about. Low back on the floor, arms and legs extended. Really, really squeeze and engage your abs. Don't get kind of uh, soft here and let that low back peel off on the floor. It's not going to do it for you. So, I'm going to rock back and forth. And ideally, the only part of that body, again, is on that low back. If that low back peels off the floor like that, you can see you can't rock. So, do 50 reps there. Roll over onto your belly and do 50 arch rocks here. Then you're gonna roll over on your back, do 40, 40, 30, 30, 20, 20. That's gonna get you guys, that's gonna be a burner. That's our Tuesday wad. Post your times to the comments and we'll see you tomorrow.